தான் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் மதுரை வெல்கம்ஸ் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் திஸ் லக்ஷர் சீரீஸ் ஆன் வேர்ல்டு ஹெரிட்டேஜ் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் டுடே த லக்ஷர் நம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி நைன் ஆன் த டாபிக் ரிச்சுவல்ஸ் த ஆரிஜின் அண்ட் சிக்னிஃபிகன்ஸ் பார்ட் ஒன் வில் பி டெலிவர்ட் பை ப்ரொஃபஸர் டாக்டர் ஆர் வெங்கட்ராமன் த ஆர்ட் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் மதுரை காமராஜர் யூனிவர்சிட்டி going it as a process every day not a day passes in our life without our undergoing a ritualistic experience in one way or the other the very fact that we have all assembled here came had our tea and we came sitting organized the manner and the listening to the man not making any disturbance to others whether it is likeable or not that is different but we are maintaining our orderliness and uh, punctuality in the orderliness are the two essential things of, of any ritual generally speaking we consider ritual as a part of religion of course religion perfected but long before man appeared on earth this ritual has been a part of the civilized behavior of even among animals and birds for example uh, whenever we are all alone there's no need for any ritual ritual is a sort of perfecting the friendship or the social behavior when there are more than one man or one woman when two people meet the earliest we are befriending or showing our being comfortable with them this is more smile those days they used to do it what is it that is rare <laughs> and uh, ritual is not only said some something positive some sometimes keeping quiet also we can show our respect when when of somebody has fallen slipped it down we don't laugh by restraining ourselves we show our concern for the person that is also a part of ritual all behavior social behavior of animals and birds have been regularized in a particular way so as to make their life comfortable to one and all my presence here or whenever i am boarding a bus I should not be dashing to it. Whenever I am giving room for an elderly old dead lady or a lady with a child or a child or physically weak and then I board the bus that looks very decent and what do you call civilized. So this is what is called behavior is there. We behave in whatever manner we like sometimes. but civilized behavior of a person shows the culture or the brought up the pedigree that's why say they are of high pedigree and at time of the wedding in those days they were concerned only with that their pedigree nowadays we are concerned with in marriages what is the bakshis are putting for that uh, dowry and the other things that crept in that is not a part of the culture that is a part of a economic behavior of man this is purely culture and religion is a part of the culture not culture is a part of religion that's why in the 19th century they have made a study of the whole world after the world shrank because of the communication and the travel facility columbus vasco da gama magellan 
all of them found the new sea routes for reaching the east because they have heard quite a lot about India as a country of high culture right from the day of Alexander the Great the entire west came to know in one way or other about the cultural they have developed in India India which speaks number of languages so it it it, it, it but ever never what stood fragmented like the Balkan states it was never balkanized there are certain things which united them all together this is this principle of uniting the entire people of the country came through many many strands the Tamils made their contribution in weaving the whole thing into a beautiful tapestry India is a tapestry very beautifully designed the thing very ordered the Tamils have contributed the people from North India whether it is Assam or Odisha or Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and um, everywhere where from Kashmir so we might not have moved there but the impact of the culture is here yeah. all these Alexander found and he went and had, had no time to say he was in Babylon he passed away 325 BC. But number of people came with him among them. There were geographers, there were historians, there were philosophers, and among the philosophers, they made a special study of the human behavior of the people because Alexander, he was himself is a barbarian from the Greek point of view. That a number of times I have told him. But this one event now has brought about a great change in the world culture in making the country the world a very comfortable place for living for human beings. Okay, what happened now? He fell in love with the Greek civilization, a civil culture. There's a land of a you call Aristotle, his guru. Alexander's guru was Aristotle. Then you have you have Plato, his guru, and uh, Socrates, his guru, and the pre-Socratic philosophers. So it, it is a great, great tradition which fascinated the entire Europe at that time. And he thought it was his responsibility to civilize his own country called Macedonia, which is a part of Yugoslavia today, and then to spread it all over the world. So it is not a conquest of land, but spreading of the culture, the Greek culture, civilization, all over the world. And he has heard about India too, but not, he, has, he didn't know about its culture because already his mind is dominated by the thought that Greeks were the only cultured people. When he came here and his first purpose was to win the hearts of all the Greeks by a war against the Persians who had a few centuries back set the whole, I mean a part of Greece to fire and he wanted to retaliate and that he did. And he thought it will take months for him, but it was accomplished within weeks. And then he had plenty of time. And he thought, why can't we go to India? We have heard about, about it. They say so many opposite things about them. He wanted to come here. He saw. He, I say, as a warrior, he had to necessarily do the battle here. He was not welcomed. And there was bloodshed and all of that. But finally, as you know, there was a compromise. He was the victorious, but but he has extended his hand to the defeated, and there was one uh, MP, his name. He reconciled with him, and he asked him, "What's the culture of your country?" His perception of culture or civilization is everything must be regularized. The human behavior must have, must have been regularized, and it's not enough. The regularization thing must be committed to writing. Therefore, whenever there is a doubt about it, you have to prefer to that. Therefore, you must have legal documents. It's not enough if you have a law. Law in our country is a sort of understanding. When the elders come, it automatically raises one day. Never is written. If it is written, you will not obey. Why should I? That will be the reaction. 
your father and mother don't tell like periyavanga varapodu kumbara nambuga if my father had said why should i in what way he is periyavan than me <laughs> naturally <laughs> natural therefore here we learn by observation by experience my father when he took me to the temple when i was a small fellow he used to wear big big angavastram and all that the moment he neared there he took it put it around left the chapel and the body language i was seeing what is drama happening in that man <laughs> what of drama was going on ultimately he goes there comes around i follow that why he comes from i don't ask god there must be something reason behind it that is ritual <laughs> he goes from leaving the chapel outside putting the angavastram around the waist going round and you now waits there before the god i have never seen that man being so humble before anyone because i have seen everyone being humble before him he was a lord there but this man behaves like our servant here who is his master i am searching there is the a cylindrical stone i look at even the, and if the priest waves and tells me this is what your father is opening it is no not what not communicated and when he was there i did see the communication then he brings the vibhuti and gives and my father already has left the chapel outside this morning when i am telling about me you can recollect what happened it was a similar thing okay and he says it this way and he could have stretched one hand he never stretched the left hand he stretched the right now since it has become part of our being our our behavior we don't analyze them can i go and stand before ah we will look at no that's not proper kudunga that's also not proper then you put it this way then i learn it one lesson okay similarly every day every minute we go on learning 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 lesson and when somebody comes up home he went, stands up receives them one look and comes up and then he looks at me i run inside i take the pleasure of getting the coffee for that person and the life becomes that man goes and tells i was a very naughty fellow until a gentleman told like to the neighborhood he is a pakka gentleman i couldn't believe my ears and that one statement turned me that's why we say it takes an entire village to rear up a child it takes an entire village my father could not have brought about this change in me a naughty fellow to be but somebody somebody okay tames it tames us we were tamed very pleasant man in a pleasant man this would have happened in the life of everyone had you been as much with you as i am you can enjoy that also yeah yeah i turn this way i can see that lady smiling so probably she was like me and she has become in jet now okay that's how life goes on well in the in the animal world among the birds there is something called the a ritual dance we call it that uh, uh, um, uh, yeah the courtship during the time of courtship during i mean their uh, sexual behavior highly controlled by season unlike human being the birds are during that time the spring season the birds male male and female of the species one of the sorry yeah they become ready okay. and the male like action the case of the peacock it shows some dances to attract the attention of the females it has to win the heart get it the consent only then makes a overture otherwise it doesn't have some pounds upon it so that that type of life is a highly comfortable very beautiful to see that's how uh, you see the african crown the cranes these are very close to the species which we in tamil call uh, in sanskrit is called the karuncha bachi in tamil the red paravai head send the kudiya andril 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 this andril paravai the poets are fascinated by their behavior and one chooses only one mate in his life 
and it's for a lifelong thing. It is not a passing. I mean, in the world, on the next year, another no such thing at all. Man can do that, but these birds are so loyal. They are known for their fidelity, and it dances and it responds among the so many. This male female species comes nearby and thereby give its consent. Then thereafter they live together. It's a hundred per hour inseparably. Life long. Okay, they give uh, 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 children after children. They grow, they fly away, they seek their mate. But still, they hold. Then among them, it is being repeatedly said by the poets that if one dies, the another immediately dies there itself. Therefore, the earliest religion of the Tamil people consisted of a veneration for. The, the behavior of this Kramcha Bhakti art, the Andril Parvai. Therefore, there are in references in our Sangam poetry where they, were, they had a no built temples, nor named gods. Please remember, this is very, very essential. There is no built temple. Thereafter, all quarrels begin. There is no named god. The moment you give name to God, spoil it. Thereafter, there is a degeneration, degeneration in the culture, civilization of the man. Civilization may be growing, but the culture is very much intangible. It is a part of our being, behavior pattern, and all this kind of happen. And uh, and they say in Tamil poet, any tree inhabited by a pair of this Andril Paravai is the holiest in the world. That is the most sacred, and the people prefer to have their houses around. They build in those days. There is no big palatial houses, nor the foundation laying. All those things are very late. They had a very simple life, having four poles, bamboo poles, put up them across, and then thatched shed, and the city had a deep reservoir. They lived in it. In in the north India also, they say all the sages lived in our ashram at the river. Now they build a big house and they call it ashram. Ashram is no. I mean, it is nothing but minimizing our wants as much as possible. Minimizing our wants in that small house, no. They had large heart has brought us the sky. The breath of the sky. Now we want to have the house has brought us the sky. No. And what happens, you know? Even if that's that's not wrong, because you have to show that the, the amount of wealth you have and all that more. But having separate rooms for brothers and sisters, this and that, you know, that doesn't bring them together. The very fact of building a small house is to not only protect ourselves from the rain and the hot, hot sun, but also bring about the cohesion about the among the brothers. Though the five on the one side and the, the hundred on the other side, they were mutually quarrelling. But among themselves, they were highly. It's a block. It totally. They were very very solid. It was a great war between two excellent groups of people. You can't take sides at all. One day I am on this part of our side. Another when I deeply think, I go to the side of the cow of us. What was there? It was a culture. Now Alexander came here. And ask now our people whether you have legal now books. We don't have any law. Where is the need for us for that? That was the armed question of our people. The need thought perfectly barbarian. <laughs> Indians are perfectly barbarian <laughs> because in 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 Greece, for everything is being written down legal document. Now we are. Having that the jurisprudence, the jurisprudence comes from the Roman jurisprudence. They have inherited from the Greeks. It is how it came in the soil of everyone. You know, everybody knows. And in court, everything happens except the court of court of proceedings. In Madurai, I think. Hitting headlines. We are hitting headlines. <laughs> well, then, Horus told him, Sir, I don't have any answer for you. I will take you to my minister. If my minister will tell you what is there. So his definition of culture is different. What is happening here is different. 
He went to a nearby, he was taken to a nearby village. I might have told this story to you earlier. And he went and sat in front of your house and asked him, whose house you are taking me to? He is the chief of the house, I mean the village, chieftain of the village. He sat there, this story, I am very much fascinated with I never get tired of repeating it. Hundreds of, hundreds of times I have told my students this. In, in the MA class and in PhD classes and all, we used to take that. I, I used to derive pleasure out of this. And he, oh, he thought that was somebody very decorously dressed man. Because decorous dress is essential for an official in Greece and Rome. But this man was as good as any other man with a cut, cut waiting. And one thundu. And when he saw them, he removed it as. Yeah, are you the chieftain? Yes. When that conversation was going on, there came, and he asked, Do you have a text of law? No. How do you adjudicate them? And that is contextual. We don't have any textual. It is contextual. In the context, we will apply our mind because, as far as it is the can, there must be some substitute for law. Our conscience and our concern for the well being of those people, the what do you call the complainant as well as the dependent, they come, you know, their well being is of because for us, every village is a home, it's a house, it is a family. Do we consider today we don't know our, the name of our neighbors? We are yaping the waste unless introduced, we will not talk to him. In India, one day, 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 no, no, Tamil cannot, Tamil word cannot be translated into other languages because it has a superficial meaning, but the deeper meaning is untranslatable. Am I making it right? That is it. So, what happened you now after some time, two fellows came there and they brought a complaint. Yeah, complaint will be there. Okay. He asked him, What's, what's your complaint? The chief can ask the first thing, thereby they feel comfortable. And they say, their position, sir, I bought a piece of land from him. And uh, there is no document written for him. They say, I am selling my land to Mr. Dhanapalan ji. And he says, I can't pay more than 20 rupees for him. Give me a 20, those days, that's all. Oh, I expected 50. You are giving 20. Okay. So, how happy they are, you see. And from that moment onwards, that land becomes his. I have nothing to do with that. That's how it has happened between Muttaya and Jupaya. One has sold, other has bought. That is, deal is over. No writing. Yeliya Gurutrika, Niki. Today we ask him, Yeliya Gurutrika, Chonna for a word. That is mantra. In one of the meetings, or somebody asked me, Why, sir, that, uh, that uh, you have all the mantras in Sanskrit? Sanskrit. Is there no mantra in Tamil? I said, the man, Tamil is full of mantra. Tamil is not what you speak, it is not a mere word. The word has a soul, a spirit. That makes Tamil. It is something more than a language. It is opening the the heart, the soul to you. When once it is said, it is established, thereafter there is no alternative. Well, then he said, Alright, you have sold, you have bought, are you comfortable with that? Yes, sir. Now what has happened? He said, I dug for a well, sir. The buyer said, I dug for a well and found out a part full of silver and gold. Then he immediately took it, ran to his house and said, Sir, sir, you sold me your land, not this gold, this is yours. He says, no, 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 when once I have sold to you, anything underneath the earth, or above the earth, or the fruits of the tree, everything belongs to you. That's why he said, Tata Chudir, 
That's what our forefathers have told you, told me. So the moment the deed is over, that's yours. No, I will not touch it. This is the fear of the fear comes from the conscience. Conscience. The conscience is so perfect, perfectly tuned. And this is not a talk. It is inherited by observation. I am I understood what religion is by observing my father and we would similarly. This is what happens in our life. So this cannot be erased from our mind at all. It becomes a part of our being. That is culture. That is culture. No comparison with other cultures at all. No other comparison culture is comparable with this. And then, then he said, Alexander was witnessing the whole thing of somebody was translating and finally he is going to adjudicate what is the law he said. He said, hey, oh, that's what he said. He said, 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 that's what நீங்கிட்டாலும் <laughs> It is actually it happened. And you now wedding happens, oh okay, that is a different story. And I try and ask, what did he say? This is what happened. What is the law for that? Both of them are happy. Purpose of law is to make everyone happy. Yes, that my teacher didn't say. Purpose of law is to organize the society. We are not concerned with merely society, we are concerned with the happiness of each and every one. The giver is happy. Yes, Thus, number of events have been given. Then he said, I say, I would like, I would like Greece to be as nice as this. He left the country before which Greece he passed away. But he has left it behind an indelible imprint upon history. Especially the teachers of history like me, the humble people, we are carrying more what that people like him has said about our country, our culture. As much as we think about our own father and father. This is culture. This is culture. No comparison. And when all these were dis- decided, that's why this culture, in our culture, we have what you know as everything will be ritualized. For example, when I am going for examination, if there is grandmother in my house, I will go on and prospect before that touch and feet. Party party, I am going to do the mathematics examination. I am zero in mathematics. Pray, bless me that I must take it at least 35. Adi adi, paya pradra. One of the most important things is that you are going to get it. Adi, I feel as though I have not heard it. Now there is no interaction between the grandmother and the grandma. Where is the grandma today? At home. We don't realize that we are exporting our grandma. Our culture is that. Today we are watching our culture. What cancer is more? This I want to carry back to even in villages they are dependent to the truth. That the cohesion which comes spontaneously from the heart of the people gradually vanishing. And that is being open. Air conditions come, all comforts come, aeroplanes come. Okay. So this is our own part of civilization. It is increasing. Civilization is going up all the material culture, that's not the civilization. All the ethical culture or the spiritual culture, that's not the real culture, that is going up. In this context, we are going to see what's the role of this. Next one, sir. Right. Now we are studying this as an part of anthropology. This anthropology is the one of the recent, most recent subjects studied. And when after Magellan and um, uh, uh, Vasco da Gama and others, and the Europeans came to all the countries, they visited, they saw, and they found certain, they, they, they critically observed things and found that is some similarity between 
what's happening in their religion which they thought at that time in the 15th 16th century almost entire europe had been christianized christianity civilized them it is an excellent religion of course no doubt about it they 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 made them they made them very culture and they thought christianity is the finality in the achievement of man nothing beyond that that's what they thought they came here and they saw what's happening in the temple they said oh we have been taught abrahamic religion says oh no idol worship but here they have idol they again like alexander thought oh they are infidels <laughs> he thought we are barbarian then ultimately thought they are more civilized than the greeks these people came and they are infidels <laughs> you know what's meant by infidel and then after seeing that they go oh, they are closer to god than we are and they applied more and more and saw for them the only real person close to god as much as he into was the man who died on the cross if you read the life of jesus christ you can you can see he personified in the bigas he was he suddenly comes to the forefront in the on the stage of history at the age of 16 or so and till then he was a, a member of a, a community called essenes the essenes were what they call a, 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 a secret society dealing with the culture and uh, and they found the what has been said in jewish society or the religion are outmoded and put it simply put it simply religion is not a matter of external ritual it is has to be internalized it is a matter of the mind for a religion if you go searching for god heaven word or towards himalaya here or everywhere you will go see dirty water and dirty people the purity are the are the the, the, the place where god dwells in the depth of your being you have to that's why those who rise go into a deep into a deep into a deep peace of mind absolute peace you can see when once you are establishing that peace within yourself wherever you go you carry that peace with yourself you can spread all over understand this is the this is the message of jesus the christ he saw i and my father are one he said because he saw his father within himself that is a vedantic great great statement similar things you can see on aham brahmasmi that word you know this is the i and my father are one is the excellent explanation for the word brahmasmi <laughs> all these you know it happened there they came and saw they thought they can christianize the entire the india to some extent it is succeeded because we didn't have a very good organized medical system education system and all that that lacuna was fulfilled by them we have to say we have to call it spade a spade wherever we hear we have to boldly and honestly acknowledge that then only we emerge i can't say everything was perfect at that time because when time is moving your culture also concomitantly moving with that if it lags behind then what's the use of talking about my forefathers what are you your grandfather had an elephant what are you having <laughs> so culturally we lagged behind and at that time it is problems that brought them in whenever india became tired i will not say we it became tired it was creative creative every age it was creating and progressing the moment it became tired of it. and uh, whenever their culture leaders the dominant minority become dominant then new breeze comes in because nature of powers like you are creating a vacuum immediately breeze comes out and the things set things right that's how the, the christians came that's how the british came to india at every stage we stood to profit we stood to progress and thereafter we are now we are introspecting because any culture like an individual as a birth as a life as a growth and a stagnancy then degeneration and the disappearance and from the disappeared thing another new culture will emerge this is the law of nature everywhere but in india we are immediately 
adopting the best from other side and we don't allow our culture to die the culture will take like water taking the shape of a vessel into which you pour similarly the culture takes immediately a different suitable to the modern times otherwise my son and grandson will call your grandfather my grandmother used to call you fool i didn't understand at that time now she is right you are wrong you will be assessed more by your grandchildren anyway you have to grow you have to adopt the best, best things from others and you must have the courage to say yes i got from them but they may have created something new but you can perfect them it is not a mere cat cop copy cat it is not a copy cat yet a creative adoption it is not a copy i think i am making the difference between the two we adopt it and suitably modify in such a manner that the lender looks at it where did you get it from it looks so beautiful sir i learned it from you and he is taken aback that is how world moves has to move that is where we have stopped it now now uh, uh, so anthropology after seeing the entire asia especially the tamil i mean india and the tamil country also they learn to write a lot this the origin of the humans and their societies from ethnology to anthropology ethnology initially the, the uh, uh, westerners until the 19th century were studying a particular subject called the ethnology where the racial origin racial origin is the meaningless pursuit that's what we are doing today that's what hitler did aryan race he disappeared now we are doing the dravidian origin i said dravidian is not a racial term it's a cultural term if you give up that that trait you cease to be a dravidian that's right okay then then this is ethnology speaking about how many races are there and they said negro negro race and then uh, 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 what do you call uh, uh, caucasian race and uh, australoids mongoloids from mongolia thus they made it and they ultimately they came to the conclusion we caucasoid the white people of the superior and this was made very very popular in europe by one fellow called the gobino g o b i n e a u gobino a french fellow he wrote a big book telling that we the white people are born to rule the whole world and darker people are nearer to monkey rather than to human and it was accepted and that fascinated hitler like people what was the result the second world war so there after this found out ethnology is a meaningless pursuit because all men have the same origin from the same place called it uh, uh, what you call madagascar from there they migrated towards the north spread all over and according to the what you call uh, 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 climatic condition the season or and the com- complexion goes on changing that's why there are the varna are the color differences otherwise culturally man is one therefore it is not ethnology they gave up the study of ethnology they started digging up to anthropology that is to say the culture of man is universal every way i say <coughs> what do you call hospitality to the newcomer to our village is there in every country is there any country which is lagging here no we tamils we have our quantum quota of uh, 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 what do you call uh, 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 hospitality This, this every country has the hospitality it is universal the concept of a divine the concept of a conscience when i cheat to somebody else that night i cannot sleep no man can sleep the word man includes woman also okay that instead of human we are using the old word that's all the man is the human here let's substitute okay and okay now anthropology you study the origin and evolution of human culture and their significance became very important not the racial study cultural study that is anthropology am i making it clear well then again it is rather relatively a new discipline developed as a product of western civilization actually they were very proud about them for some time then they came down developed this subject 
Today that subject is becoming universal, everywhere we are speaking about it. And relatively a new discipline developed as a product of Western civilization, East didn't produce because East to know it is following. Civilization is something to be followed, culture to be followed, not to be written down. For them, everything has to be recorded. They did it, you know. And then the concept of culture serves as the core concept of all anthropologists. So every one of you, if you are, you are going abroad to Australia or America or Newfoundland, wherever you go, and the moment you see the culture, then you are an anthropologist. Without our knowledge, every one of us is an anthropologist. Okay. Well, and it is a global study of human behavior. It is a global study of human behavior. Wherever man is, he is a part and parcel of our society. There is no division whatsoever. And the divisions may be geographically there. Politics has to do it. But the day of, of the whole world become, becoming a world without border, political border, without any psychological border, the uniting is, is not far off. It has to come within a few centuries. And positively I see as a student of history, from where we started and where we are moving, well, we are moving rightly towards that goal of the one world with one language uniting us all. At the same time, not losing the local languages. So many languages have lost, been lost. But we should not allow our language to go because it is a repository of all the best that our forefathers have found out. Therefore, it must also be there. And all these things, you know, that's the study of anthropology. Therefore, anthropology focus is the culture. Having understood this, we are going to the next slide. Well, what is a ritual? A ritual is here, this is very important. Now, all anthropologists, the moment they want to study the culture of a country, they are watching not you or your eyesight. That's not your, your, how tall you are, how beautifully you are dressed and all that. They are all external makeup. Beauty is only skin deep and it is defined by us. Now, what is important, you know, the culture of the people, it, 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 it manifests through the ritual you follow. Without your knowledge, we have the ritual. When I mean, as soon as I became, I, I became the lecturer in the university, my students, I mean, students, I told, I can only interact with them. There are politics class, economics, and so many things were there. But in the, in the history class, I told my students, no? I say, the buses used to come from Ujjalabhati going towards Madurai, the staffs in front of the university, all of them they will be dashing through. Okay. I said, you should not behave like cattle. Even cattle has its own, what do you call it? A method. This is very, very pell mill. This is what we call chaotic. It has, it has to be orderly. My students, the history students, must give room for others. Even if you miss the bus, don't worry. Let's wait for some more time. Okay. And I taught certain things like that. From next day onwards, they, there was a total change. They were looking at it. what happened, you know. The girls of the politics department began to love the students of the history department. <laughs> Because they found some manliness in them. By which drawing they were becoming manly. Naturally, everybody has to fall in line with you. We have to win them. After when somebody else there. So always you are surrounded by, if you are a young fellow, a lady is watching, please put it on. You have become more than your hands and is watching you more. Always you are under a scanner. <laughs> Surveillance is going on without your knowledge. Therefore, necessarily you have to change. That's what happened, you know. Then, a ritual is a strictly ordered, traditional method. Every tradition has its own time-tested method. It is a time-tested one. And they don't define, they don't describe, they don't elaborate. Maramagade, maramagade, vava, ha, pun? That is ritual. That's why I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going to do
இந்தியாவில் தெர் இஸ் அ பிலீவ் தட் வென் எவர் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் ஃபார் எ பேட்டில் யூ மஸ்ட் கோ வித் யுவர் லெஃப்ட் லெக் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அண்ட் வென் எவர் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் சம்வேர் ஃபார் ப்ரோபிஷியேட்டிங் ஃபார் பிளெஸிங் தென் யூ ஹேவ் டு கோ வித் த ரைட் ஹேண்ட் ரைட் லெக் லெக் இன் ஃப்ரண்ட் அண்ட் திஸ் வாஸ் வெரி மச் இன்ட்ரடியூஸ்ட் இன் த ஐகோனோகிராஃபி த ராமாஸ் ஸ்டாச்சூஸ் வர் மேட் வித் ஒன் லெக் ஃபார்வர்ட் தட் வாஸ் த லெஃப்ட் லெக் and no king accepted that to be started the king no no take it take it he is going for a war rama is going for a war there were whenever you are making a something varadagala vachi va ma oi varadagala enak theriyad my mother told me you go and ask your mother my enga mother told us appadi sonnaanga traditionally therefore it is a time tested traditional method of conducting an event any event no i mean when two people join together a society forms and when one more fellow is coming there all right the society grows then a event shall we go for a maadu pidikka po maar meen pidikka po that's the event there immediately there must be some cohesion whenever you are going to go for a hunting naturally you have to be okay a man like me who cannot run very fast i have to observe and say you go this side that side another fellow who runs he will take care of it another who is a marksman he takes care of that thus everyone is contributing the best of him into it and the event is made so perfectly well and i may be not be running able to run or i am not a marksman but i will be telling this people to do this way next time you can do it better i am encouraging them thereby i am becoming useful for the society thus something is very beautifully organized this is what is known as the whole thing can be brought under the thing ritual it need not be sacralized it need not be associated with the worship therefore this ritual can be conducted defined in two way yeah your relations interaction with the society around your interaction with the divine about within god in the world and that is that ritual is dominating today the moment i say ritual you are thinking about that anthropology is not concerned with this that connecting with that is connected more with your you with your wife and children with your neighbor even with your enemy even with your enemy when the enemy suffers if you shed tears the enemy is lost that for all comes to know about it and you are tappa nadachu kudenga you need to be kangalai kela mudha kangalai kela mudha nam gramakala you can even today see do i say the kingdom of heaven is already there we are turning that kingdom of heaven into the paradise into a naraka maria hell and the more educated the more faster they are doing it that is the pity and the curse of the society therefore i say i mean the the the, the, the innocent child the unlettered man whom you call illiterate illiterate man he cannot read and write that's all illiterate man he is not fool he is saturated with the what is known as the natural wisdom the native wisdom the native intellectual understand and such a people you have to watch and you know he i mean he is strictly ordered a traditional method of conducting an event i mean you are going to organize your annual day even if you make it a plan first come to I mean, prayer, whom to invite for that. How long? So, what the event is the first event, and who will do, how much of the time? Understand? All these things, when it is being taught in MBA, we think we are studying something new. I say it is already, already there. Your grandma knew, and they did it perfectly. <laughs> we, we tabulate today. They didn't tabulate. It was running in their mind. Am I not right? whenever we have some doubt about it don't go to the book turn to your grandma that's why we have her picture also in our house had she been here today what you would have told me to tackle this situation the grandma will be smiling ah i get the message you go and smile to me you tackle the problem that's why whenever you are giving a post for a big picture try to smile at least for that one occasion <laughs> because that will be useful to your grandchildren provided they have it with them that's also their parenthetic class for every statement you have to make a number of parenthetic clauses <laughs> well what is it you i mean even to me therefore the event happens in an orderly manner without a tension tension free today we are creating tension is not tension not 
डॉक्टर सोनेली मुंडे मुंडे एक बंदे डॉक्टर है डॉक्टर और साहब से ये साइड इंटेंस है ये डॉक्टर है ये ये बंदे डॉक्टर सब पर भी बोलते हैं एंड दैट्स व्हाई प्लानिंग क्रिएटिंग द ऑर्डरलीनेस एंड फॉलिंग इन लाइन विद दैट हार्ट व्हेन वंस इट हैज बीन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इन मोर I may have something different plan from what my friend, my neighbor, Dhanaparan tells. But what Dhanaparan says is accepted by all the people there. Then I have to accept with that. No, no, I disagreed with it in the very beginning. I will be. Then me, I become an apaswaram. That's why. Understand what is meant by apaswaram? When you are singing a particular music, it must have its own swaram. It goes from the that swaram note to another note. It is discordant. It there must be concordance. There must be harmony, and what is aimed in life is not two things: one, creating harmony in society, and absolute peace be it. Unless peace is there within your mind, harmony in society cannot come. This is known very well to everyone. But we, when we say that, we feel happy about it. Am I not right? That also, yeah. We have to create a peace, and you know, that's how it comes. Ah. Uh, Method of conducting it. The even the maybe an act of worship, maybe a religious one or a secular solemn ceremony. Everything we do must become solemn, very solemn. The solemnity is one word. So far, I didn't use it in my lecture. Now, that is the crux of the whole matter: matter, harmony, and solemnity. And we will feel as though we are in ideal place. For some, it may be Mecca. For some, it may be Mumbai. Uh, or if for like now, Kashi. That much of we can create in our own room. That's why he said, "Bring the kingdom of heaven on the earth." And the best way is to create, clean your mind, pure, and love everyone, interact with one. Think always the well-being of the neighbor, the comfort of. If my sitting in the bus. Causes some disturbance or uh, uh, unpleasantness. I have to give room for them. These are all the things which have to be carried to the youngsters, to the standards of fifth and sixth. That's why I'm telling you, you are going to be the messengers of this. Already we know. Now we take it up above. We have to transform this or transfer this idea to carry them to them. And when once they reach it. Then after you can't hear, they will be watching you and behave. Tata, you are putting something in your mouth. 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 Now, now, this is wrong. Now, you can understand why Murugan and Tati is own father. That man has a yearly supply. He has to add something to Murugan. Okay, when he, he his behavior was not so palatable, the son. I mean, every one who has the Murugan in their house. Provided you are young, she will be one. An excessive observance of religious ritual is called the ritualism. We are not concerned with the ritualism. That should not be the end of it. Be all and end of it. And any ritual, it is suitable, needs to be modified to suitable to occasion. You must be ready for that. Other than that, Allah is a wala man. After that, the change that is ritualism. We don't like that. Understand? Ritual is good. It is inherited. But that that needs to be modified every generation and the situation. The study of what that and the study of religious ritual is also called a ritual. It is a positive way. We can study the ritual. What do they mean thereby? It's a very excellent exercise. You go to a mass, see them what they do. Go to a church, what they are doing. Go to the village, how they are propitiating their god, Kanthu Swami or Madhav Swami. What is happening? You look at it. Oh. What an amount of message we are getting from that! Every second we are getting it. So the study of ritual, ritual is also called ritualism. Or in a ritual, many birds, males, have developed their courtship behavior. Already you know, you have seen it. The ritual into a ritual dance, and making friendship with one requires a beautiful display of our heart, either by dancing or offering a cup of coffee. Are taking to your home and offering something to eat, sweet, or at least the minimum being a smile. Minimum being the irreducible man. 
So boys can do not smile. I don't think they smile, but they show as a substitute. And you must smile must be as beautiful as the dance of here, because it must be come from the heart. And you know, develop their social behavior into ritual dance to impress the female. The female has the made choice. Always the female has the choice. In the recent times, the man had the choice of his wife. But can you tell? But in the formula, na 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 formula, because he is he has seen the cinema and the drama. It is my Aridara who is with the Allah Buddha. Allah Maha Buddha, like what? And uh, I wanted to say something from my own life. I did not think. I did not believe. <laughs> my mother, my mother said it. You have someone in your mind. I do not mean the lipstick. Go and see her one day without the lipstick on. Then you will know what is going. <laughs> we are carried away with the made up things in our life. <laughs> Full of made up stuff. The female has to make choice, and that also we have to remember. It's the result of a very, very long evolutionary process. It is very, double very is indeed English. Very, very long evolutionary process. And thanks to Charles Darwin in 1859 for being an intellectual force to aid the growth of archaeology, anthropology, linguistics, and so many things. His concept of evolution, you know, that solved many of the intricate problems. We are not able to say where did this come from. All these we were able to solve by applying the what is called the philosophy of and uh, 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 Charles Darwin's uh, uh, the concept of evolution. You would make one say. Now, <coughs> now the ritual is not confined to the birds only. Man, the earliest man, twenty-five thousand years back. Just now he has becoming from hominoid. Hominoid is half monkey, half man. From that stage, he comes to the level of what we call the Paleolithic man, Padayagarkaramanita, and he lived around 25,000 BC. And they don't wear anything; they go in groups, kill an animal, they stand in ambush, wait for the bird animal to come because it's a fast running. They encircle, they kill it. That's their food, not for killing sake, for getting the food. Therefore, it is not a murder. Understand? They are getting their food. Otherwise, they will die. Now, next, what they do? You know, next one. Then they put the animal, dead animal, and they ritually dance around it. And it has many, many meanings. The primitive man, when he didn't develop any language, even at that time, he was expressing his art by means of certain events called the dance. All the people, subtle dance. That is there all over the world. Even today, the kumbhi is something which is a vestige from 25,000 BC. You can make a comparison of our kumbhi and the kolatam coming round and round with each other. Many, many similar things from all over the world. That is an anthropological project for anyone to take up. It will be so beautiful. Now, our people, they, 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 they could be, there is a method in doing it. There is a method in doing it. Up, 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 up. Rhythmic. Highly rhythmic, highly ordered, highly beautiful. Anything full of rhythm is automatically it's beautiful. They also go round and round in circling. Sometimes they do it, you know, and do this. And they will be moving. All these we have to collect from the villages. We are very, very much, uh, I mean, uh, uh, conversant with the jazz music today. Rather than our own kumbhi and the kolatam, we have made a darpanam of it. We are every day with the Varnam. I say, don't mean to say, don't study jazz, study jazz. But at the same time, how that jazz and our kumbhi are similar in their pattern, that similarity. Now, by acquiring one, you should not lose one. Maintain yours and acquire many from outside. I think I am making my point clear. And you know, they come. this number of articles have been written about the meaning. They are begging the pardon of the dead animal. They are entertaining the dead animal. Because the, you have given your body for us to eat. O soul, we propitiate you. It is a propitiation not of God, but of the soul of the animal. 
நான் கொல்ல வேண்டி வந்துட்டப்பா வேற நான் நினைச்சிடும் ஒன்னு சேர சாகடிங்கள நாங்க பத்து பேரும் சாக போறோம் அவர் Dance around it, propitiate, then they eat.